a female miner's journey in Australia. Mining, with its rugged landscapes and relentless pursuit of precious resources, has long been considered a male-dominated industry. However, over the past few decades, women have been breaking barriers and forging their paths deep within the earth. Betsy Mary, a seasoned mining engineer, reminisces about her early days in the industry. Nearly three decades ago, she found herself as the sole woman amidst a crew of burly blokes at a remote gold project in Western Australia's Pilbara region. The sight of a female engineer on an Australian mine site was met with genuine surprise. Shared male facilities meant that Betsy had to take over the residence manager's digs for three months. It was an era when the industry was unaccustomed to having women oversee construction and engineering tasks. Fast forward to today, and the landscape has transformed significantly. The number of women employed full-time in the mining industry nationally has skyrocketed from 8,700 in August 2002 to an impressive 45,000 in August 2022, accounting for 21% of the industry's workforce, according to the Australian Bureau of Statistics. These women are no longer confined to administrative roles, they are mechanical fitters, engineers, geologists, and project managers. Their contributions are invaluable, shaping the industry's future. For 26-year-old Virginia girl Sienna Mallon, quitting her job in Virginia two years ago and working in the high-paying mining industry in central Queensland was not a difficult decision. After graduating from the agricultural science major, Mallon worked in Geelong's agricultural resources industry and later received a job offer in the mining industry. Mallon said that in the past two years, more and more young people have started working in mines, many of whom are women. Kirsty Sewell deeply understands this point. Kirsty Sewell works at Industry Resumes Australia, a company that helps seekers find jobs in the resources and mining industries. She said that there has been a significant increase in the number of women and young people entering the mining industry. I have been working in this job for 10 years, and the majority of people who applied for FIFO, minor in and out, jobs before were middle-aged men. But now, many of my clients are women and young people, especially those aged 18 to 25. The main reason for this situation is the high salaries in the mining industry. Last year, a survey across Australia showed that besides housing prices and rent, the cost of living is the most concerning issue for young Australians. According to data from the Australian Department of Employment and Skills, the average income of mining industry workers is 2,403 Australian dollars per week, far higher than the median income of 1,300 Australian dollars for all industries. Mallon revealed that her current annual salary is $100,000 more than her previous job in Victoria. Since she started working in mining, her financial pressure has greatly eased. Previously, I needed to worry about how to survive on my salary but now what I need to worry about is how much money I have saved. If I stayed in Victoria, it would take me 25 years to pay off my student loan, but now it only takes five and a half years. Not only is the salary high, Mallon revealed that working in remote mining areas also makes it easy to get promoted. She became a supervisor at the age of 25. If I were in Melbourne, Sydney, or Brisbane, I would never be able to secure such a position because the talent pool there is already saturated. Crystal Louie, a 22-year-old Chinese girl, also works in a coal mine in central Queensland and is a graduating engineer who flies in and out. She said that here, her hard work can earn generous rewards and she feels very lucky, and the flexibility of her lifestyle also makes her very enjoy it. This job can effectively separate work and life, and I can take a long weekend off every weekend. Being a female miner in Australia is no longer an anomaly, it is a testament to resilience, determination, and the pursuit of passion. As more women join the ranks, the industry must continue to foster an environment that empowers and uplifts. Betsy Mary's journey from being the only woman in a crew to becoming a principal project manager at WSP exemplifies the progress we've made. Let us celebrate these trailblazers and pave the way for a more equitable mining industry.